top 10 African elected dictator presidents. It is rather paradoxical for an elected president to be called a dictator, but then Africans whose leaders have led them for over 20 years have opted to call them dictators, regardless of whether they are periodically voted in or not. By definition, a dictator is a ruler with total power of a country who typically obtains control by force. They often rise to power out of conflict or a coup d'état. However, there has been dictators who got into power democratically or legally. Most incumbent presidents in different African countries have gone ahead to win elections with landslide wins, yet they continue to be referred as dictators. This is presumably contagion to how they treat their citizens and the manner in which they organize the elections, among other things. Today we decide to look at those presidents that have overstayed in power for so long that now they are referred to as dictators. Number 10. Paul Kagame Paul Kagame is one of the longest-serving presidents in Africa, having ruled Rwanda for over 20 years and 8 months. Kagame took off Rwanda in 2000 after a scheme between the RPF and President Bizimungu, which resulted in his resignation, which is thought to have been forced on him. Since ascending to the presidency, General Kagame has faced three presidential elections in 2003, 2010, 2017. On each occasion, he was re-elected in landslide, winning more than 90% of the vote. However, international election observers, human rights organizations, and journalists generally regarded the election as lacking freedom and fairness, with interventions by the state to ensure that Kagame wins. Does this make him a dictator? Therefore, the question lingers. Kagame has, however, transformed his country into a tourism hub, one of the cleanest, if not cleanest, town in Africa, and this can be attributed to his ruthlessness and restrictions in ensuring all the citizens abide by the law. Number 9. King Muhammad V Morocco Mohammed belongs to the Alawi dynasty and ascended in the throne on July 23, 1999, upon the death of his father, King Hassan II. Upon ascending to the throne, Mohammed initially introduced a number of reforms, such as changing the family code, which granted women more power. Despite the above mentioned honorable deed, Mohammed has been accused of being involved in corruption scandals, a major topic in Morocco, despite the fact that decisions of the subjects is prohibited in the North African country. The U.S. Embassy in Rapat reported link report that said corruption prevailed in all levels of Moroccan society, reaching the highest level where all business interests of Mohammed V and his advisors influenced every large housing project. King Mohammed V has accumulated and is estimated to be worth $5.7 billion after being in power for over 21 years and 5 months, and this has not gone down well with the nation despite being silenced from rising questions about it. Number 8. Ismail Omar Gwela Djibouti he was born on November 27, 1947, and is the current president of Djibouti. He has been in office since 1999, making him one of the longest-serving rulers in Africa. He is commonly referred to by his initials, IOG. Gwela was elected president of the first time in 1999 as the hand-picked successor to his uncle, Hassan Gouled Aptidan, who had ruled Djibouti since independence. President Gouled, uncle of Ismail Gouled, announced his retirement at the time of the next election and an extraordinary congress of the party. The ruling People's Rally for Progress chose Gwela as presidential candidate handpicked by Abtadun. Gwela was elected in 2005, 2011, 2016 and 2001. The election were largely boycotted by the opposition amid complaints over widespread irregularities. During his regime, Gwela has been characterized as a dictator, 
and his rule has been characterized by human rights group and government such as United States. Djibouti is one of the four countries in Africa that has experienced instances of immediate succession from one family member to another, and this has raised questions about his eventual succession with trust handpicked candidate chosen from an inner circle being certain. He has so far ruled the country for over 21 years and 8 months. Number 7. Isosius Afriki, Eritrea Africa, who was born on February 2, 1946, is an Eritrean politician who became president shortly after he led the Eritrean People Liberation Front to victory in May 1991, ending the 30-year-old war for independence from Ethiopia and now runs the 22nd year of the rule over the country. Isasius is the chairperson of Eritrea's sole legal party, political party, the People's Front for Democracy and Justice. In June 2015, the United Nations ban accused Isasius of leading a totalitarian government responsible for systematic human rights violations in Eritrea that may amount to crime against humanity. Amnesty International believes that government of President Isasius Afriki has imprisoned at least 10,000 political prisoners with claims that torture, punishment and interrogation. In 2021, Reporters Without Borders ranked Eritrea under the government of Isasius, last out of 180 countries in its Press Freedom Index. Number 6. Idris Deby, Chad Idris Deby was a Chadian politician and military officer and the leader of the ruling Patriotic Salvation Movement and the only leader to die on front line with his soldiers fighting. Deby was killed while commanding forces against the rebels from the front after sustaining injuries as a result of gunshots. The Chadian parliament and government were both dissolved on his death with his son Mahamata as its chairman. He left a legacy of repression and violation of social and economic rights, but his counterparts see a man whose bravery and great feats of arms in the struggle for peace and stability in Africa crown his entitled of Mashallah. He was a great Pan-Africanist committed with conviction and discrimination to fight against terrorism in the lectured Basin and Sahel. Despite all the effort and endeavors, he is still looked at a dictator now Africa by international community. Number 5. King Muswati and Swatin. King Muswati and Swatin. Muswati the third, born on April 19, 1968, the king of Eswatin and head of the Swazi royal family. He was born in Manzini, the protectorate of Switzerland, to King Sobhuza II in Manzini. He was crowned as Muswati the third, king of the Swaziland on April 25, 1986, at the age of 18, thus becoming the youngest ruling monarch in the world at that time. Today, King Muswati III is Africa's largest absolute monarch in the sense that he has the power to choose the prime minister and other top government and traditional posts. Even though he makes the appointment, he still has to get special advice from the Queen Mother and Council. Although protests are reported during Switzerland. What did you say? Switzerland. No, no, no. It is Swaziland. There have been demonstrations in both 2018 and 2019 over Muswati the third lavish lifestyle and alleged misuse of public funds. A series of UN hosted discussions in 2020 displayed support of democratic constitutional monarchy in the country. Muswati is now in his 35th year as the ruler of Eswatini. Number 4 Yoweri Museveni, Uganda. Yoweri Kaguta Museveni Tibhagura, born September 5, 1944, is a Ugandan politician and retired senior military officer who is the ninth and current president of Uganda. Yoweri Museveni was involved in rebellions that top led Ugandan president Milton Oboti and Ida Min before he captured power in 1986. In the mid to late 1990s, Museveni has celebrated by the West part of the new generation of African leaders. His presidency has been marred by involvement in the Congo Wars, the Rwandan Civil War and the other Great Lakes region conflicts, the rebellion in the northern Uganda by the Lord Resistance Army, which caused humanitarian emergency and constitutional amendments including the removal of presidential term limits in 2005 and the presidential age limit in 2017. But does this make him a dictator? 
Museveni, since taking over the highest office, has been organizing regular elections in multi-party system. Several parties have participated and lost despite a few irregularities, which are literally everywhere. Case in point, the recent concluded American election, where Donald Trump still cries up to now. Anyway, he's been a president of Uganda for now for over 34 years and 11 months. He is commonly known for retaliating during an interview by saying that if he is a dictator, then he is a good dictator who is periodically elected. This caught so many people's attention. Number 3. Dennis Swansungweso, Republic of Congo Dennis Swansungweso has been the current president of the Republic of Congo since 1997. Don't mistake this with the Democratic Republic of Congo, but this is Congo, whose capital city is Brazzaville. He served the previous term as president from 1979 to 1992. Nguesa took part in the 1968 military coup that overthrew President Masemba and brought Mariene Ngobi to power, who later resigned in 1968. During his 36th year of reign, Ngobi has been accused of misuse of resources, embezzlement and corruption. In July 2007, the British NGO Global Witness published documentation on the website that appeared to show that Dennis's son, Christo Swansungweso, had spent hundreds of thousands of dollars of money. While the first family enjoys the privileges, it is estimated that 73% of the population lives below the poverty line. For over 36 years in the highest office, Dennis Ngweso has maintained uninterrupted power by severely repressing the opposition. Abuses by security forces are frequently reported but rarely investigated. Number 2. Paul Beer, Cameroon Paul Beer is one of the longest serving president living. Beer has been the president of Cameroon for 38 years and two months now, through thick and thin. The Cameroonian politician served the West Africa country from 1982, making him the second longest ruling president in Africa the oldest head of the state and the longest ruling royal leader in the world. Beer now makes relatively few public appearances and it's often characterized as a loop. Although he made some effort to open up political space, his regime still maintains clear authorization characteristics and has also largely hindered the trend towards democracy in Africa. The world's worst dictators by David Walensky ranked Beer together with other three sub-Saharan leaders, but does it justify that he is truly a dictator? Number 1. Theodora Obiang, Equatorial Guinea Anyone born when Theodora Obiang became a president of Equatorial Guinea is now a grandfather. 41 years and 5 months in office is not a joke. The former military man has ruled over the country since 1979, making him the second longest consecutively serving current non-royal nation leader in the world. During his reign, Obiang has encouraged the cult of personality by ensuring that public speeches end in well wishes for himself rather than for the nation as whole. In 2008, the American journalist Peter Maas described Obiang as the world's worst dictator Africa has ever seen. Worse than Robert but Mugabe of Zimbabwe. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button such that you can be reminded whenever we put a new video. Much love.